What is up guys, again, Not The Worst here, bringing another Black Desert online video, and today we're taking a look at the patch notes for May 12th. I'm going to be honest with you this week, there's not a ton of stuff going on, but there's a really interesting developer's note uh, that is in here for some upcoming updates. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got going on. This week for events, we have just a couple new things added. A gift for skill instructors. You're going to get a little item, daily login. You can turn it into your favorite skill instructor, and they're going to give you a Immortal Giants draft along with the item to make another Immortal uh, draft of your choice as well. So you've got that going. We've got Defeat Thundercloud Kudum. It's going to be guaranteed spawns on Thundercloud Kudum. So if you haven't had a chance to try them out, you can actually schedule around it while this event is happening. Then we have Item Hot Time and Treasures event started. So during the Hot Time play and all day during the weekends, you're going to have 50% drop rate bonus on all servers. Uh, then you also have the Treasures Once More event. This is where you have uh, the rare items like compass parts, map pieces, or the infinite uh, potions, both HP and mana potions. Actually, the rare items for that will drop in additional locations as well. For instance, the Cagton piece for the potion will also drop in the Kadri Ruin Zone, etc., etc. So, pretty nice. I actually got my Kadri, I got mine from the Kadri Zone last time they did this event, um, just by pure luck, but yeah, not bad. Okay, so here's the note I want to talk about for character updates. Uh, they say, upcoming update on May 26th will include a comprehensive balance patch that will make improvements, major and minor, to every class in Black Desert. Not only will this update include PvP changes, which, by the way, we saw on the Global Labs a little while ago. I did cover those, but those so those should be coming on 26 as well, But the, and they know that was also on the Global Lab. But it will also include PvE improvements that are currently in development. These are we have not seen yet. These have not been on Global Labs, and I don't know if we'll see them tomorrow or the next day for the next global lab update before they come out on live servers but it could just be that they're just going to hit live servers on the 26th we're not quite sure yet uh, we hope you guys are excited as we are for this class revamp currently our development process is working to improve all classes at the same time rather than focus on a few characters at a time since this is more time consuming it's taking us longer than expected we ask for your understanding regarding the longer than expected delay of these long-awaited changes we're coming through the improvements we've planned as well as the feedback left by adventurers on the official website in order to ensure carefully considered changes to this upcoming update. Your feedback and those of all adventurers worldwide will have been invaluable in this process, so please keep sending us your feedback as you tra traverse the world of Black Desert. Okay, so other than that, we've got the maximum increase and decrease percentages we of attack speed, casting speed, movement speed. We saw this on the Global Labs as well. So now the maximum amount that those things can be increased is 250%. Uh, standard default was 100%. And the uh, maximum amount it can be decreased is 50%. Again, standard default, 100%. Um, we've got three new skills exclusive to Node War and Conquest War that are available. You can only learn one of the three skills. You can get a set for 5 to 25 magic DP increase, range DP increase, or melee DP increase. Again, we saw this on the Global Labs. Character changes, just a few issue fixes between Berserker and Sage, which makes sense considering they're planning some huge revamps coming up in just a few weeks here. Uh, item changes, nothing to speak of that's crazy glorious should add outfit is available for guardian hash nova content updates coloring of whale tendon potion and black spirit adventure nothing crazy there conquest ward they've now changed the participation awards for node war uh to be the resplendent medals of honor shiny medals of honor are no longer available as a partition uh, participation reward however they can still be exchanged for the new medal in the same manner as before uh, so you can see them there and they can be exchanged for those new skills that they're talking about there or for the essence of courage and the essence of courage has a new crystal being acquired through simple alchemy by using the essence of courage depending on the type of crystal used as an ingredient you can acquire a gin bon or one glorious crystal of courage with the same type of ignore resistance effects so you see if you get the magic crystal of infinity one of four types of ignore resistance then 10 essence of courage a forest fury 10 magical shards and 100 black weapon stones you can roll into uh, Jin Bonner one of whatever type you've got here, grapple resistance, stun, stiffness, knockbound, and uh, knockdown or knockback, uh, depending again on the base crystal used. You can also create uh, Jin Bon and Wan glorious crystals of courage, which have ignore resistance plus 10%, and then on the Jin, uh, three additional AP and 100 AP. So they all have that ignore 10% resistance, uh, and then three. The best is just flat out Jin. It has the three AP and 100 HP. There's not really a trade off. It's two AP. 2 AP and 100 HP or 3 AP and 50 HP or you just get both in the gin version instead of trading one of the other stats for that. So that is that for that uh, this week on there. Let's go have it and jump on over to the Pearl Shop and take a look at what we've got going on. We do have a new costume for Ninja. It's just in the front or top loaded piece here so you don't get to see the whole thing because I don't know why they don't like putting pictures of brand new outfits. But they've done it again. It is called the White Wildcat. So if you're interested in it, check it out in game because you can't hear. So. There is that. Of course, there's a pack to go along with it where you get the premium set along with another one, a bonus 
of a one day Book of Old Moon and uh, five item drop scrolls to go along with it. We've got JoJo and Friends Sale. That'll get you the JoJo pet, which has a little bit longer range on looting monsters, as well as two other pets of your choice. That's 2,200 pearls to pick that up. The Lucky 2021 pack for 4,082 pearls. You'll get 202 Cron Stones, one outfit box, uh, 20 Artisan Memories, 20 Valk's Cry, and then a bonus uh, 20 stack, 21 more Artisan Memories, 20 Memory Fragment, and 21 more Valk's Cry. All at once pack, 3510 pearls will get you a premium outfit, 7 day Blessing of Commasil, 7 day Book of Old Moon, 10 Artisans, 5 Valk's Cry, 10 Cron Stone, and 3 Item Drop Scrolls. Mount Brand Spellstone is on sale for 350 pearls. We've got inventory 8 plus 8 slots. That is because you get 2 inventory plus 8 slot coupons for the price of 1. It is 800 pearls. The 4 plus 4 is 450. Uh, we've got mount skill training coupon 2 plus 1 gives you 3, I believe. It's 400 pearls to get 3 of those. Uh, item brand spellstone. If you need a whole bunch of these, there's 4 of them available for 800 pearls. If you want to be the god of enhancing level 1, spend 4,000 pearls and you can get 100 artisans, 100 cron stones, 10 artisan memories that in addition, 50 more cron stones, uh, 40 stack, and 10 moonlight shards as well. But if you're the big boy, you want to be the god of enhancing level 2, it's 7,000 pearls. And that will get you 200 artisan memories and 200 cron stones. And then a bonus of the artisan memory bundle, 100 more cron stones, a 50 stack, and 10 moonlight shards. 20% uh, off all class outfits is just flat across the board. So for um, except for Archer, Derictus, and Ninja White Wildcat, the two newest ones. Uh, and then we have an assorted coupon set. It is 200 loyalty for it, and it gives you a 10% discount coupon uh, for just flat out, then a 20% apparel, 20% pet, 20% mount, and 20% function coupons in addition to that. Uh, so you get to choose three of any of those, no multiples of the same item. So you won't be able to get the same one three times. Anyways, that is it for the patch notes and Pearl Shop for this week. Let me know what you guys think about what's going on. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about these upcoming changes on the 26th? I'm pretty excited for those. If you guys haven't checked that out, definitely check out the Global Labs video with the class rebalance. Um, that did go out and take a look at what we see coming up for at least the PvP ones. I do kind of expect we'll see the PvE ones released on Global Labs beforehand, but you never know what they're going to do. It could just be completely out of the blue and we don't get it. Uh, even then, it just goes straight to live, so we'll have to see how that works out. That's going to be it for this one. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like it. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you get notifications when new videos do go live. And if you'd like to catch me playing live, there is a link to my Twitch page in the description down below. You can head on over there and drop a follow so you get notifications for that as well. With that said, that's going to be it for this one. I want to thank everybody for watching, and I will see you next time.